I can't lie. Mm -hmm. We'll be yeah, wearing uniform. That's if I'm still Hey, yo, my name is Kolea. Hi, my name is Emma. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I liked you. I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> oh, this is Coco Chibu. They will disgrace me last night. It's coming. I'm I wear the Coco Pop. Thank you. Yeah, we met at the Sony Camp. That was last year. It was last year. And. That's the first time we ever met. That's the first time I heard of her. Oh no, it wasn't. Anyway, we met no at the Sony Camp. Oh yeah, so we met <laughs> at the Sony Camp and she was the first person I had to work with that day. So it was amazing. Very seamless session. And everybody thought we knew each other, but that was because we met. Uh, yeah, so the first time we met was at, I think, CK's event or so, right? <laughs> <laughs> so she's a like short story time, right? So she's performing that day, and we are this, we are in this room that you know all the artists have to be there, you know, chilling. And I already, um, I haven't dropped my first song yet, but everybody already knew me, so I had access to that place, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then she's there, so she's like, "Oh, I'm going to perform. Please, can you help me?" Watch my bag. I'm like, yeah, sure. I guess. Like, what's your name? I said, my name is Emma. I'm like, okay, thank you, thank you. I'm like, don't worry, we'll meet later. Like, when we meet, I'll remind you of yeah, this day. And she laughed oh my God. and just moved on, forgot about it. And then we met at the camp, and I reminded her she did not remember. But now, obviously, it's ringing a bell. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that was chaotic. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah. In this industry, you know, there are not many real people. It's kind of something that is not doesn't happen all the time. So she has a very, she is more like a mirror kind of for my personality. She, we are very alike in a type of way and still different. So I, I respect that, like I enjoy the fact that we are different and we can get two heads, uh, actually two brand new heads together. That, that's fine. And so I'm like, okay, yeah, this person works. <laughs> yeah, what made, me, what made me be like, okay, I want to be friends with her. She's very, she's very straightforward. Like whenever I see people like that, I want to be friends with them. She, you already know what it is with her. She doesn't change mouth. She doesn't. Not everything is black is black, white is white. Do you understand? So I really appreciate it. And even before we even worked on the project, she called me. No, people don't do that. She called me to just be like, "Are you sure?" She was trying to gauge everything. Are you sure? Are you, can, should we do this? What's your mind? That's very rare. I've not seen it before. So I just really like her personality in general. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> The first time we made music, it wasn't like a decision we were in the camp. But when, I think sometime after, they had heard the song, they were like, okay, there's chemistry here. So Frank, her manager, had the idea that we should uh, come together and do a project. Lauren Rimasha as well was on board with this. My manager, my manager, sorry, my manager. My manager was on board with this too, and they asked me. I've never collaborated with a woman before. Do you understand? But like, I'm like, I like this girl too. No problem. Let's go. Let's do it. So let's do it. So it was a after they heard our song and our chemistry together, it was brought to us and we said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, lucky us though, we met as colleagues first, right? Colleagues. That's how she sounds. Right. I mean, I'm Nigerian. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So we met as colleagues rather, and um, yeah, working together, the song is already very nice. The vibe yeah. is going well. She's already cool, right? But the fact that what made, that makes that made it easier, I'd say that because first of all, it's work, and then we started to get to know each other in between. So now that we are that we are friends, you know, now that we are friends, we can say, okay, this is this, this is that. It's not really going this way or that. Yeah, we might not really, but everybody gives space for the other, like respect yeah. each other's ideas, and you know, where we can't put this, we will add to it, you know, make it happen. It depends, so very. It might still form you. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like you. Yeah. I thought I liked you. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is Coco Chibu. They will disgrace me last night. It's coming. <laughs> They're not. Okay. 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 So, no, for real though. But, I mean, <clears throat> creative process, right? See, I'll just forget this. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Nice. Okay, creative process. Well, it depends though. Now, we worked on this. It was like a women's project, you know, trying to highlight the struggles and successes and all that. So now that made it easier that there's already a box kind of we have to walk around. But yeah, we can just talk about stuff like, okay, what do we do? Sometimes the beat does the talking. I mean, you hear it and your brain is just going with it, you know? But one thing that is always easy is that if I have already started something, 
code just knows how to end it well. So it's just like perfect. The combo is sick. I'm sorry. It, I'm, see, I'm, I'm sorry. Even I'm not if sorry. I'm not meal, I'm saying I'm sorry even if it wasn't me. I'm not talking. sorry, Dad. No, that's not me involved. <laughs> but now nah, the combo is sick. I can't lie. So the creative process, that's the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the creative process. I think we just understand our sounds, so to speak. One thing I'll point out is at the camp, that's one of my favorite camps ever because it was mostly all women and there were men, but like it was mostly all women. So there was there was a freeness. And when it came to two of us, we bounced off each other's energy. Like a man normally starts. So once I just see the fire that she dropped, I'm like, ah, I got kill her. <laughs> I got to watch this energy. So like that was how it was. She yeah. normally starts the beat and I finish, and that's how it was. Or we're together in the room. And we just make it work. We made one or two songs, obviously. We made like six, seven. We could have gone, could have gone on like continuing, but <laughs> forces that may be, you know, things don't always pan out the way that you plan it sometimes when it comes to releases, budget, this, that, that. But all the same, we had to choose the two, mm, not strong, the other strong song will, ah, yeah. but we had to choose two songs that really represent what we're going for on Women's Day. So. Yeah, it would have been around that. Anyway. Sorry. Sorry, that's good. Yes, mo it was mostly that part. The, the project wouldn't have even come out, but somehow, you know. Somehow. God is great, but it did. But that's the reason, though. Mostly, the, I would say the reason was the budget, simple. Like our original plans. Yeah, yeah. We, didn't, we had plans. It didn't work out. We had to just work with it. Yeah, it is. It's actually programmed to be that way. Simply because, I mean, the project was highlighting both uh, the struggles and the successes of and women in the and yeah, and women for women in the in life basically, right? And one of the songs had a strong theme of uh, sexual misconduct and all that, so that was just highlighting the intensity and how serious it, the, this message is supposed to be, that kind of thing, and also to represent hard workers like the song every day, you know. Yeah, to represent hardworking women that actually work hard for their money. So yeah. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, that's it for me. But yeah, we have I to know, do right? it. Yeah. Like, ah. It's yes. intentional. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. First of all, the vocals are gim gim. Say gim gim. Like, <laughs> bro, it's like. Mm. Yeah, very, very strong. I love hearing women that sound like that. I mean, personally, that once you just hear one syllable, you already, you raise your head up like, who's that? You know that kind of thing. And then the flow, she has, I mean, she'll be, code can flow like much. Bro. I mean, it's okay. just, it's intense. So I really, really love that. I mean, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Hey. bruh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, so I love that. Thank you. Okay, me, me. Hmm. Hey, Malistica, songwriter, grand noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This girl is grand right. nominated. I don't play, I don't play. She wrote mm -hmm. Kanko, wrote Kante. Uh -huh. That's one thing. This girl. Huh. This girl, she's like a well that I don't know where the under is. Oh, I'm not even whining you. Like, mm. she, bro, I, she I can think, do anything. I think, I think. She can do anything. Her flows, her melodies, they come from nowhere. Like, you can't say, Oh, when I know where this girl is, where she's about to go. Am I lying? Nah, this is the most accurate. I, she don't she says that she's not on my sound I have she ever just heard. They go. <laughs> nah, every day, real, real, every real. day is melody. Now she bring up. Where was she going to? If she... Nah, that's girl. so cool. Girl. <laughs> See, her melody is <laughs> mad. Her voice is also very strong. I just love everything. Like, you guys listen to our own songs too. You mm. need to hear it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking of which one I should say. Because money is because like the biggest plenty, one. You know? Like money is the <laughs> biggest one. Like ha ah, money money moves everything. Like looks, transportation, the music, the marketing, the everything. Money moves everything. So like you need to know. I don't know if you would know, but like they always say it all the time. Money is going to be your first problem. You need money to do everything. Second of all, this one is more relatable to women, but I don't know if men go through it. Me, I'm just speaking of my own. People are also going to cross boundaries a lot, cross the professional boundaries. So <coughs> get ready for that and always know how to set it for them. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to add money because God knows that mm -hmm. thing is very important. Mm -hmm. Money. <laughs> And if you don't have it, ah, it will spoil a lot. See, you have plans, smart plans, sick visuals, this, yeah, that. Yeah, what I say, idea. Uh, 
Something about <laughs> no, money would do anything. No, not having money will kill an idea. Like, bro, that <laughs> is very real, very, very real. So, money. And another one that is, I mean, everybody knows this, but it's not a joke. See, people will not like you. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. See, there will be people that would not like you so much that they would go out of their way to make sure you don't Damn, go there she's or for get you. where. I'm, I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, or do this or do that. You know? So, I mean, if you are an artist out there and this is like the life you want to be, so just know that you don't, you're not going to be able to be friends with everybody or everybody are going to be, like, be able to like you, understand your music or even your sound. You're going to get people that will tell you that, oh, this thing, I've never heard it before. It's probably some futuristic sound. I mean, you can't really blame them. They've not gotten in there, but things like that. So you just don't let you yeah, get to yeah, you. Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Just because people are not accepting of your sound. But first, be self-aware. Don't go and see your rubbish and be saying, <laughs> But like, just because people are not accepting of your sound at that point in time does not mean it is bad. Mm -hmm. Because for some reason, some people like to wait for the crowd to be like, oh, before they will not be like, oh, and before they edit it, but they'll be like, ah. Yeah. It's just, it's just yeah. there. But now your, your ear has open, your brain has open. So right. that is a real thing that can happen and it can cause you to second guess and feel bad. No second guess, so shall be self aware. Yeah, yeah. shall don't sing rubbish, because if you sing rubbish, it's it's rubbish. Rubbish. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. it will tell you it's rubbish, just so yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I already knew that money would be a problem. It's not like I don't know. I've always known. I read about. <laughs> I always read about the. There are some people mm. post stuff online and people talk about it. So I already knew. When it came to the boundaries, I knew. But like when you get there, you know, you know better. So I just think I learned on the go. It's not anything special for the money. I just make it work. Try to have a side hustle for the boundaries. I, I set them before time. People are people's person, but I set them before time. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, for the money. Yeah, those things you need, you somehow have to just cut your clothes according to your material, Sha. Your, just you ah, know, design sense. it as you have, Sha. Because if you start to overthink, like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have, because of it, you can't, you're going to miss out on a lot of stuff. So I anything, sure. like, just there's this saying I, I really, really love about if you empty all your pockets, you still have everything you need. Just do it like that, honestly. So, yeah.